Good morning. Good it's morning. currently 6.48 in the morning. Yep. And we decided to sleep in again, which was probably not a good idea. Actually, it was Tim's idea. I disagreed with it. Oh, is that a fact? He said sleep till 6, and I was like, okay. <sighs> but yeah, so we are a little late. Do you think we can get out by 7? Mm -hmm. 12 minutes? Yeah. All right, we'll get out by 7, and then, you know, it's going to be a, a long, hot day because we've got another all uphill today. Non-stop, forever and always. We're getting up to like 8,000, 9,000 feet again. So, how do you feel about that, Megan? Great. Go ahead. We are currently at 7,000 feet of elevation, which is wonderful. It's certainly a lot cooler up here than it was down where we started yesterday. This time yesterday we were dying of heat stroke and now we're just slightly suffering from heat stroke. Oh, a beautiful area. All the mountains we've been hiking through for the last 36 hours. We're almost to the very top. Say hi, Megan. I don't know if you can see her or not down there in the shadows. Taking a break. Well, it's kind of depressing to know that we would have shade up here if it wasn't for a fire that clearly happened. Look at that. I mean, Megan, look to your left and to the back. Look at all the burnt trees. There's a little toothpick sticking out of the mountain. So, we just stop to filter five liters of water each because our next guaranteed water supply is in 16 miles which means we might have to dry camp there are a few possibilities of water caches between here and there but we can't rely on them so we're not gonna we've been moving pretty slow this morning but nothing wrong with that we will get our miles done for the day we can do hard things, like climb this mountain. Yeah. Woo. Mm, the wind is awesome. The trees are amazing. Megan is amazing. Thank you. All right, 1.8 miles to our siesta. How do you feel about that? Let's hit it. All right, all downhill, so it should be perfect. I'm ready for some mashed taters. Taters? Mashed potatoes. Cheese. For lunch? Yes. Absolutely. Mashed potatoes. Cheese. <laughs> Veggies. What else are we going to put in there? Oh, some pieces of salami. Ooh. Make it sound... all into a sandwich? Oh. Perfect. Yes. Shoot. Well, we just saw two horse riders come by here. You'll, hear, you'll see them again in a second. They're so cute. I know that their horses are allowed. Oh, there they are. On the PCT. But I didn't know that I'd actually ever see one. There they go. <laughs> Check that out. See that creek down there? That's Mission Creek. That's where we were yesterday walking up that. We came up through, so up this creek, and then we came up on the other side of this little mountain, and we walked all the way up, way over there, kind of like a huge switchback, and then we've come all the way back so far today. Man, it'd been a lot shorter if we just went right from there to here, but it might have been a lot more difficult, but who knows? Man, that's beautiful. Hello. So we decided that we would cook for lunch and we are gonna be making mashed potatoes. I have cheese melted in there. I've got uh, salt and pepper. I've got some uh, salami and pepperoni and those veggies. And then once it boils, we're gonna put in the instant mashed potatoes. We've got regular and butter. This is going to be fantastic oh gosh, lunch. I'm so excited for this meal. Mm. We're at our siesta, so by the way. Excited. There's some badass car campers over there. Check We've got feet. darts and everything else. Your feet? Wow. Is that a dirt line or a tan line? Both. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, this is not the most hiker thing in the world. A mashed potato sandwich with, of course, the mashed potatoes, salami, 
vegetables, vegetables including carrots, peas, uh, peppers, and some other random things, corn, salt and pepper, and just a whole nine yards. This thing, this is gold. This is amazing. This is hiker heaven right here. Also, got to throw a quick shout out to Ariel for giving me this amazing pot. This is the pot that we had when we were on the Appalachian Trail. And when she got herself a new pot, I convinced her to give me her old pot. It's a wonderful pot, perfect pot. Now, she didn't make this outside to it, I did that. But, shout out to Arrow, thank you. So we are currently climbing a little mountain right now, so forgive me if I sound a little out of breath, but I just wanna thank one of the viewers who commented on one of my previous videos, I believe her name was Kate, who let me know that those red plants that we had seen are called snow plants. I had a little bit of service, saw that comment, was able to Google it, and apparently they're pretty rare, and they're actually edible. If you cook them like asparagus, the stalks actually apparently taste pretty good. But they may or may not be protected because of how rare they are. So thank you, Kate, for letting me know. I really appreciate it. And if I got your name wrong, I apologize. Just let me know, I guess. Well, I think that says 250 in pine cone language. Maybe if we take these, kind of put them up here a little bit. Maybe take this one and put it over here a little bit and take this one and do that. There you go. 250 miles. Nice. Hey. Very nice. According to our guide book app thing, this is a private zoo. And in bones written on it, do not waste Dude, like land. I mean, I'm okay with not wasting land, but that's kind of creepy. Dude, this is like some crime junkie stuff. You don't wander into places like this. It's beautiful. So, so far we've come 17 and a half miles a day up about 4,000 foot of elevation gain. So that's pretty fantastic, we've done a great job. We're still walking, but we're thinking about camping soon. We've got about 13.3 uh, miles to Big Bear tomorrow, so far. So if we'll we see how far now. we get, but we we'll keep you posted. We've done really well today so far though. Look at this ginormous tree. I wish you guys could see it in real life. It's gotta be some sort of cedar tree. But I have never seen a cedar tree like this before. That's a big one. So any of my loyal subscribers and viewers know what kind of cedar tree this is? Let me know, because it is a beautiful tree. It's huge. Megan, give it a hug. Look how big it is. That's crazy. I love this tree. Oh, you smell good, too. Wow. What a good smelling tree. Alrighty, so we are officially done today. 17.8 miles, over 4,000 foot of elevation gain. So crazy day, a lot of fun. It was beautiful the whole time, and we did awesome. So Big Bear tomorrow. We have 13 miles of Big Bear, but we're going to wake up early and try to get there at a decent time in order to get a resupply box. Shout out to moms for that one. And uh, yeah, so badass day today. And we're camped out next to this awesome cedar tree which is the craziest, most amazing cedar tree I have ever seen in my life. So, yeah. Also, side note, I'm not gonna put any music on here. I've got a few comments on my previous videos, people saying, eh, get rid of the music. So I'm gonna do that. If you're watching this, drop a comment below and let me know if you like it with or without like the background music. I can understand why people wouldn't like it. But if you do like it, make sure to let me know as well. And I like to hear your feedback on that one. So let me know. All right, comment. Let me know. Tell me what you're eating there, Megan. It's actually, it's actually pretty good. Everybody watching, they're gonna think it's disgusting, but <clears throat> things hit differently on the trail. So in here we have 
shrimp ramen with some chicken noodle soup from like Lipton, I think is what it is. Uh, we added some of these um, dried veggies, thanks to Tosca. <clears throat> and we added my jalapeno tuna packet <laughs> into here for protein. And it sounds bad, but it's actually really freaking good. Sounds kind of odd, I know, but it's not bad as it sounds. Not as bad as it sounds. And, you know, out here, a day before our new resupply, we got to work with what we got. So, honestly, <clears throat> everything's everything tastes good whenever you're out on the trail. It's true.